Hello and welcome to this tutorial on uh, cutting and extruding uh, using the pull tool. Um, so in the previous tutorial, you know, I showed you how you could make modifications to a model by, you know, clicking on a face and pulling it. And I also showed you, you know, how to add in rounds. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you um, how we might add on uh, additional features or take uh, take feet or cut features from uh, an existing 3D object. Um, so in this uh, tutorial, we're going to go back to the sketch tool briefly. Um, so say, for example, I wanted to add uh, maybe a pin to this face here. What I can do is I can click on my sketch mode or hit K on the keyboard. This is another way to do it. Uh, and then you'll notice as I hover over different sort of planar faces, it allows me to place uh, a sketch plane, you know, along that uh that face. So I'm going to click on this face because that's where I want to, you know, add my feature. And I'm going to make, uh, you know, a cylindrical pin. So I'm going to click on my circle here. I'm just going to sketch a circle. We might as well just put it in the center there. I'll make it, uh, you know, four millimeters is good. And click. And there we have our sketch. And now what we can do is we can go to our pull tool. And you'll notice as it, when I click on the pull tool, we automatically get kicked back into 3D mode. Uh, but you can always switch to 3D mode uh, by just hitting the D key on the keyboard. Um, so K is for the sketch mode. And then if you want to go back into 3D mode, just hit D. And now you'll notice when I hover over, you know, these different faces, it uh, highlights in yellow the area that's going to be pulled. So I have this, I could either pull on this face. So I click on it and start pulling. And you'll notice when I pull on it, it's going to, you know, create a hole. So I can pull and pull back on it. It's going to create a pin, but it's going to get rid of that material. Alternatively, I can hit Control Z, go back to where we were, and just if I always want to add a pin onto this existing model without changing that model, uh, I can just um, again click on that surface and start pulling. And now I've added a pin without having to, you know, modify the rest of the, uh, the object in any way. So I've just created an, an addition. Uh, alternatively, you know, of course, I could also, I could always click on that and pull it back and make a hole. And if I pull it back all the way through, eventually, you know, that you'll see that orange circle disappears. That means that I've pulled it all the way back. So, you know, if I rotate the, uh, the view a little bit, you can see I've created a hole. So that's uh, just, you know, you know, very quickly how you can make, uh, make changes, you know, I can sketch on any, you know, any surface that I want and then, you know, use the pull tool to uh, either extrude or cut, depending on, again, on which direction I want to pull it. Now, let me go back because there's a way, you know, there's a way that I can kind of force it. Uh, maybe I want that to always add or always cut. Uh, then, so what I can do is I, I click on it and you'll notice the context menu appears and I can click on this plus, uh, and what that will do is it will mean that whenever, wherever I pull it, it's always going to add material. So if I pull it back through, it's not going to create a hole. And then if I pull it all the way back, like past the back, it's going to start pulling a pin out the other side. So let me just, you know, demonstrate that. I click on the plus, and I'm going to start pulling on that. I'm going to pull back, and you'll see it pulls a pin out through the back. So let me go back backtrack there with the control Z. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that again. I can show you the cut tool. So if I hit uh, minus. Now, you know, if when I drag it, well, if I drag it in that direction, it just disappears because I haven't, you know, there's, there's nothing for it to cut into. Uh, but if I pull it back, of course, you know, just like before, it's just going to, it's just going to create a hole. Um, in this case, you know, it's not really there's not really much point in using the plus or minus uh, uh, tools. Uh, it's easier to just uh, just pull it in the direction you want to make it. But that is a way you can kind of force that behavior. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.